Hello everybody, this is Vic and welcome to a new series. We are going to be doing a Caden Live series. So today I will be covering the basics of Caden Live. So we'll start with um, downloading Caden Live, running it on your system, doing a basic uh, video editing, adding basic titles and music, and we are going to be exporting or rendering that basic video. Okay, so follow along. So let's get started with downloading and installing Caden Live. So just a quick note on my system, I am running Linux Mint 18.3 XFCE edition. Shout out to all my Linux users, my Linux brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's move forward. So this is specific to uh, Linux, by the way. So Linux Mint 18.3 is based on Ubuntu 16.04. Okay, so we'll go to the download section. Now, um, snap packages are not available, so no thanks. Uh, Flatpak is available, but I've had, um, you know, sort of not really great experiences with the Flatpak version. So you can try it for you if you want, but the best one I've found is the app image, okay? So download the app image release, and that would be the latest release is 18.12.1b. So I've already downloaded that. If you are running Ubuntu 18.04, you should be able to install a PPA. Okay, so the PPA available is on here, right? So if you just check here, it's available for Bionic, okay, Ubuntu Bionic 18.04. Anyway, I've downloaded Kden Live. Okay, so I'll just switch back to my file manager here. All right. So if you can see, I've downloaded a couple of extra images, older images here, and that's mainly because um, whenever a new um, version comes out, sometimes it might be buggy and it affects um, my workflow. So I usually um, download, keep a couple. Sorry, I usually keep a couple of the older versions just in case, okay? So if you've downloaded this for the first time, we wanna make this file an executable file. Okay, so just right click on it, go to permissions and then check this box. So allow this file to run as a program. Now, if that doesn't do it, what you can do is open a terminal in this window and we can apply this command, chmod, press X, and then Kden live. 18.12.1b and that should pretty much do it okay close this out we'll run this okay so we're opening up Kden Live now the app image alright so here's our user interface alright so yours may be slightly different depending on the defaults okay so because I think it's saved some of my preferences but we'll just run through here so it may not come in black right so the way that you change the interface is you just go to settings, style, oh sorry, you go to the theme, and it might come in in breeze, okay, this light theme. That's a little bit too bright for me, so I like to switch it to the breeze dark theme. It makes it easier in my eyes. This is our media clip bin, right, so you add music here, your um, video files, titles, pictures, whatever you need, all goes here. Um, properties for the effects will show up in this window and this is our window for our transitions and our effects over here our clip monitor project monitor so what the clip looks like and we've got our tracks here so we've got three video tracks you can always insert or add more tracks delete a track okay and we've got our audio tracks. so same thing we can insert and delete tracks here as well okay and this is our project timeline all right so pretty simple, our basic tools, selection tool, this is our razor tool. I use these two a lot. This one, spacer tool, not so much. So I don't really use this as much, okay? So I'm probably not going to show you too much um, of the spacer tool. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start with setting up a basic project. So we'll go to project, okay? Go to project settings, and we'll set up a... Uh, so you've got different options here, 1080p, 4K, 720p. It just depends on what quality your clips or your videos were shot at. So if you've got higher quality, of course, you can take advantage of the higher quality settings. If not, you know, 720p is perfectly fine. Okay, so in our case, 
we'll just go with 20, uh, sorry, 1080p, 23.98 frames per second. So that's sort of cinematic standard, or 24 frames per second should be the same. We'll go 24. All right, we'll set that up. So our project's set up. Okay, so we'll just add some clips here. We'll go to my demo files. So adding clips is pretty easy. All right, so we've got our files here. Now, if you don't have any videos, what you can do is you can go to Pexel videos, Pexel's videos, and you can download them. These are all stock videos available for free. So you can download them and start playing around with video editing and with Kden Live. Okay? So I've downloaded these videos from Pexel. So the easiest way to add it to our project is you can drag and drop, okay, to our clip bin, like so. Or you can click on add a clip here, alright? And you can navigate to whatever clips, videos, or music that you need to add. Okay, so that's all in there. That's cool. We can just check these out, what these videos look like. So that's just basically a lady drinking coffee or tea. Okay, we've got a beach theme today. So we're doing some beachy, right, beach photos, fun in the sun kind of thing. And that's just some water. All right. So we'll go ahead and start building our story, okay, building our video. Start off with these ripples or the waves. I'll add in this lady, so it's going to cut into her drinking a bit of coffee, all right. And then it's going to cut out into just the waves, all right. But if we look at our project timeline, this is almost a minute video. That's way too long. So we'll zoom in a bit. So I'm pressing down control key and using my mouse wheel to zoom in. Okay. So with this water, we want to cut it around maybe three seconds of that. Okay. So I'll use my razor tool or X to cut this clip here. Done. All right. So it's cut these clip into two. Okay. And if I press my select tool or press S, I can move the two different parts wherever I need them to go. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to delete this one. So press delete. I'll move this clip up here. And I'll overlap it. Okay, and the reason for overlapping is when you're working with video, whatever gets placed on top, all right, is what gets played or overlaid. Okay, so when we play this, it gets overlaid. Even though this, you know, water video still extends out a little bit, when we get to this point, it shows the lady now. So whatever is on top gets played. So we'll just play that a little bit. So right when she drinks, okay, we'll cut it out maybe around here. Okay, again, using the razor tool, we'll cut that. Okay, using the selection tool, we'll delete it. Okay, we'll zoom out a bit. Okay. And I'll also put this a little bit on top. All right, waves are crashing, cool, cool, cool. And that's about the end of our video, okay? Don't want it for too long. So I'll just cut that and we'll end it here. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much, you know, how you add different video clips together, okay? We can transition them like that, an immediate transition, or we can add some sort of a fade or an effect, okay? So what I'll do is, and the reason why, I'll zoom in here, the reason why I wanted to overlay these is because it makes it easy to add transitions as well. So let's say we want to add a transition or effect between these two. So what we can do to quickly do that in Kden Live is we just want to mouse over until it changes, right? And it says there, click to add a transition. So I'm just going to left click there, and it adds in a default dissolve transition. Okay? And you can change this to different ones. You can experiment. But I find that dissolve is pretty good as a standard. Okay? It's quite elegant. See? It's pretty cool. You don't really need any more than that. But say you want to change it, you can always change it just to demonstrate that. Let's say we want to change it to a wipe. Okay? We'll keep it at the default just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so it just wipes it to the side, okay? I usually stick to just the basic um, dissolves, okay? But it's up to you.
back to the dissolve. Okay. If you need to delete a transition, you just select it and you just press delete. Okay. Pretty simple. So there we go. All right. So that looks pretty cool. Let's work on maybe. Let's say we want to add some music to this video. Okay. So pretty easy. Now, when you're adding music, definitely be careful because there can be some copyright issues. So where I get my music from is from this website, dig.ccmixter.org. Uh, you already have it's royalty free as long as you credit the um, the artist, right, or the musician. And we'll do that. We'll actually credit the artist and the musician, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. Okay, we'll go back to Caden Live. I've downloaded some music, so we'll go with this one, Confirmation Blues. So again, just drag and drop that in, okay? I'll put this into my audio track here, move it to the very beginning, okay? So that's my music. It'll cut out here, so what I'll do is I'll zoom in and I'll also cut out my music about there, okay? I'll get rid of the rest. Because if you don't get rid of that, when you render the whole project, it'll just render a black screen and then your music keeps playing. Okay? So let's just see what this is like from the beginning. All right. So you notice there's a bit of cracking in the very beginning, a bit of lag, okay? Don't worry too much about that because once you render the final video, it's not gonna have that. The only reason why it has that is because of the uh, buffering capacity and sometimes the caching of your computer. So yeah, if you see it stuttering like that, don't worry too much again, okay? Because that's just the preview of your video. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy with the transitions. I'm happy with the music. We'll go to, we'll go add another basic thing, which is adding a title. Okay, so adding a title clip is pretty simple. We'll go back to our clip bin here, project bin. Let's add a title clip. Okay, so this is our basic title editor within KDE. Oh, sorry, within Kden Live. I mean, and we can add different things. We can add an image. You know, we can open a document, add a rectangle. Um, but we'll just add some simple text, okay? So I'm adding text in here. We can change the fonts and whatever. I'll just keep it at the default. Um, let's say, oh yeah, we'll just do good morning. Okay, that's our title. All right, so we'll do some basic edits to our, we'll, we'll get a little bit more advanced with our uh, titles, and I'll show you that later. Change the size here. 96 looks pretty good. We're just going to align it to the middle. Align it to the middle, and that looks good to me. Press OK. You can rename this clip, so you can right-click, rename, to make it main title, okay, or whatever you want, okay. If you need to edit this, you can right-click, edit clip, okay, and you can change whatever you need to change, okay. Pretty simple. So we'll add this in, okay. So that's our main title clip. Again, whatever is placed on top gets played, okay? So see, it gets overlaid, I mean. So we'll place this here. I like to have the title kind of come in a little bit later. Okay, so I'll we'll move that here a little bit. I'll add a dissolve, okay? So it fades in, basically a fade in and fade out, right? Delete that, I'll add it again. Maybe that's a too long. I'll make it a little bit. Okay, so the longer you do it, the longer you, you extend this, the longer the dissolve will be. And the smaller the box, the shorter it will be. So it's quicker. Quicker fade in, quicker fade out. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'm just pressing the space bar to play it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so we did say we were going to credit the artist, okay? So this was Rubero, and it's called Confirmation Blues, okay? So I'm just going to Google that. I'm just going to search it in CC Mixer because I already had it. 
downloaded. So when you download the file, it'll give you the um, the crediting here. So we'll copy this to our clipboard. Okay, copy. Okay. And we're going to add a credit title, all right? So we'll add it as a credit title. So we'll add a new title. So add a new title clip. Um, we'll add some text, OK? There we go. And I'll just uh, Control-V paste that, OK? It's a little bit too big, so we'll change the font to 24, maybe too small, 36. Yeah. OK. I'll just rearrange this a little bit. Again, it's a little bit hard to see, as you can see here, where your mouse is. So, you know, just play around with it. I know you can navigate your way through. All right, we'll add music credits. There we go. All right. Okay, so that all looks aligned. We can click on this and kind of move it just to the lower third. There we go. We can rename this into end credit or music credit. All right, and we'll place it. Okay, so here's a problem. So we need to place it on top of this so it gets overlaid. So what I can do is insert a track, okay? A video track above video 3 that's cool press ok it adds it okay and I can move this up and I can add a dissolve here maybe yeah all right cool maybe extend that a little bit more all right let's see what that product looks like we'll play it so what do you think I'm pretty happy with that okay just as a basic so today we've learned how to add clips do some basic editing do some basic effects add a title add some background music done you've got the basic elements of your video the last thing that we'll do is render it. So we'll render it to MP4. We've got a few other options here. We'll render the full project, okay? I'm just gonna click through more options to see what we get. We can actually increase the quality here if we slide that, you know, up. Uh, but I'll keep it the default. That's all good. I'll just select where I want it to go. Uh, I'm going to downloads, the demo, and we call this Good morning. Okay. Save. Render file. All right. Depending on how fast your machine is, what processor and all that that you've got, your rendering times may vary. Okay. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope that this was a good introduction to Caden Live. If this has helped you, make sure to subscribe. We are doing a series, um, so there will be more in the future. Um, if this helps you, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, you can always find me on my website, uh, victorianodehesus.com, or just write something in the comments. All right, that's it. So stay tuned. I will show you the finished product, our hard-earned labor, our first video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>